22-year-old Robert Cremo was captured without incident. Let's take a listen to what authorities said just moments ago. We're encouraged that we have a person of interest, but again, we're, we're going to pursue and continue to pursue everything that comes in. So thank you very much. At least six people were killed, more than two dozen injured in Highland Park, Illinois. Police say that the gunman opened fire with a rifle from on top of a building. Let's go now to ABC's Alex Perez, who's in Highland Park for us along the parade route. Alex, what are you learning? Lindsay, this is the moment authorities have been working for since this morning when that shooting took place. The suspect now in custody. Uh, authorities going further than just calling him a person of interest at that press conference a short time ago, saying that they believe he's the person responsible for this shooting. Now, authorities say they captured the suspect, that's 22-year-old Robert Cremo, about 13 miles north of here in the uh, suburb of North Chicago. Authorities say they captured him after a traffic stop. They say there was some sort of brief pursuit. Uh, other officers were called to assist with that pursuit, and then he was taken into custody without incident. Now, Lindsay, you might be able to see behind me here, there are still officers uh, on the scene here. This is still an active crime scene. Authorities collecting evidence and trying to really piece together everything that happened here. It was just after uh, 10 a.m. local time when that July 4th parade got started here when police say the gunman perched from a rooftop, opened fire, and began striking people who had gathered here for this parade. Six people killed, at least 31 injured. And Lindsay, if you look behind me over here, you can see all of these chairs here. They've been here all day. That's where people who had gathered to watch the parade were sitting. There are uh, food, glasses, bottles, all kinds of things. People just left everything when those shots rang out and they ran for cover, Lindsay. It was a frightening situation. People say they uh, initially thought it was fireworks when they heard the popping sound, but unfortunately it was gunfire. Authorities now have that suspect in custody, of course, questioning him, going through his social media profiles, trying to determine what exactly led him to this.